the knowledge of God. You need to know God. The knowledge of God. You need to know that we are both sinners. We are sinners. But by the giving of His Son, Jesus Christ, to come and die on the cross for our sins, His grace is available for us to be saved. You need that knowledge. You don't just need to read about it. You need to know it, believe it, and pursue it. You must have heard many people say, knowledge is power. Have you heard it? Have you heard people say, knowledge is power? Have you had people say knowledge is power? Now I want you to listen to me. Knowledge is not power. Knowledge is not power. It is applied knowledge which is power. That knowledge, if it is not applied, it is not power. It is applied knowledge which is power. If you read the Bible and you know that Christ came for the salvation of our lives, Christ came for the redemption of our sins, Christ came to die in such a shameless manner that we may get saved, we may believe Him and accept Him, take Him on as our Lord and Savior, confess our sins, start a new relationship with Him, walk with Him, get to know Him, walk with Him. And then you get life eternal with him. That is knowledge. But you don't just stop at reading it. You start to apply it. That's what makes it power. That's what that makes that knowledge power. And I am here this morning to proudly to ask you, to request you, to take on this man called Jesus. I got saved as a young boy in senior one at the age of 14. Yes. I have accepted him. I have been walking with him. I have seen him. I have been with him. I have heard from him. I have read about him. I have trusted him. He has been faithful to me. And I know. I know him. But I took a step and confessed to him. When they came to preach to me, I listened. as my personal Lord and Savior. Accept me. Forgive me for the sins I have committed. For the wrongs I have done. Now Lord, come into my heart. Give me a new direction. Help me to start a new life with you. As a young boy, it is not true that young people cannot be saved. My sisters and brothers, it is not true. Young people can be saved. What we hear being told is that children cannot be saved. They can Personal salvation. 
salvation. Work out your salvation. Do you know Christ? That's what I want to interest us last day. This morning, knowledge of God. You should know God. You should know Him. He knows you. He loves you. He loves you. He knows you. He knows what you go through. He knows the purpose for your life. He knows why He created you. Even for things you think are impossible, Christ looks at you and says, No, these things are possible. If you only believe in me, if you only knew me, if you only accepted me, it is possible. And so the knowledge of Christ, the knowledge of God, you need to know Him. You need to understand Him. You need to believe in Him. You need to understand the purpose for which He has for your life. And take a step to believe in Him. And take Him on as your personal Lord and Savior. And walk with Him. And you'll see His goodness in your life. And you'll see a transformation in your life. You'll see a change in your life. You'll see a difference in your life. The knowledge of God. Who is God to you? Who is, who is Christ to you? How do you understand Jesus? Who is He to you? I mean, it is not enough to just say Jesus is the Son of God. Those are things we used to answer when they ask us, Who is Jesus? Jesus is the Son of God. Who is Jesus? He was born on Christmas Day. Who is Jesus? He was, you know? It's just not enough. Jesus is more than being born on Christmas Day. You need to understand Him as the Savior of your life. You need to understand Him as the Lord of your life. You need to understand Him as the ransom, the sacrifice that was given over for the redemption of your soul, for the salvation of your life. You need to know that this man was God Himself, but He chose to live heaven to come down in the form of man that he might suffer all the suffering he went through but that when he dies and resurrects again and ascends to heaven that you will have salvation for your life you need to know that this man is a savior and not just my savior but your savior too but you also need to know that he won't just be a savior unless you accept and invite him and welcome him into your life and Jesus will come into your life and make you a different person and walk with you and guide you and inspire you and help you to understand things. So you need the knowledge of God. You need the knowledge of God. You need the knowledge of God. You need the knowledge of purpose.
convicting them of sin, righteousness, and judgment. The Lord will come to a point of taking you up, receiving you as a personal Lord and Savior. And that you will start a new walk with them. Give them a new direction to the glory of heaven. You help them to become persons that you want them to be. And people that you want them to be. The glory of your name. We thank you and bless you. Thank you for this ministry, this church of St. Stephen's here in Kome. Thank you for the mission. Thank you for the calling you put upon them. For the leadership of the church. For the work they are doing. One pray, Lord, that you give them strength to continue to serve Continue to minister to the hearts of men and women that you have entrusted today. We give you praise, we give you glory. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray.